Um, oops. <laughs> we are on. We are on. We are on Facebook. And we are on Hi. I'm going to put you on YouTube and you on Facebook. Hi, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kringen, Seattle. I'm putting a little makeup on, which I don't normally do. <laughs> How are you? I don't normally wear makeup, but I, I have makeup. Hi, everybody. Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. I'm doing Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Um, I was going to go at exercise outside, but I decided to do something inside. I'm going to dance. Hi. Uh, I'm going to dance to my own music. I have um, Goddess Kring music on Bandcamp, and so I own the copyright to my music so I can play it. Um, I offer my photos free to publish on Flickr under the Creative Commons license, which is a whole nother story that I debated with somebody about earlier today. Um, but in terms of my music, I own the copyright. I wish I could just play whatever music I wanted, like the Rolling Stones or Tom Petty or Tori Amos and dance to it. But what I can do is dance to my music. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play my music. Wince on Spiral Drive. Hi. Wince on Spiral Drive. Wince on Spiral Drive. Wince on Spiral Drive. Butter food, butter beans, stinging rings of cream. Catch the winds on spiral drive. Crack the code left and right nose. Slowly the cannon words on my own terms. I wander and I wander, tripping all the blue hearts and ours. Enchanted land, smoky hands, rough and cracked. Take the sand and stand alone, all one. I present the present, desert the desert. Exercise, new exorcism, homes, homes, homes. No thanks to the types of skank. I reject the neglect. Fun cloud dancing loud. I want to be the center of attention. I want to be the center of attention. Pre-attention of invention. Straining to contain the demon. Straining to contain the demon. Illusion to erosion, erosion guides fusion to explosion. <laughs> 
to gyrate on YouTube. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> My friend just tried calling me in the middle of that, so I got a little angry there. Um, sexuality is part of life, and honestly, <laughs> that got my heart rate up. Could you guys hear that okay? I know the sound might not be so great. If you go to... Um, Bandcamp got a screen. You can hear my music. I almost never get any comments about my music. So I don't know if anybody really likes my music, but I do. Um, so it's okay if nobody likes my music. It's okay if nobody likes my radio show. I rarely get any comments. Uh, mostly what I get comments about is my naked sexual body. So I guess if that's how I can make money, hey, you know what? My naked body has what is what I've got to earn me money. <laughs> as a figure model for artists. Um, figure modeling is not sexual per se, um, but let's face it, breasts and vagina, pubic hair, <laughs> muscles, sexuality, sensuality, birth, death, and sex are all juicy topics for humans. Hormones, testosterone, um, what's it called? Testosterone, progesterone. What are all the different names of the hormones? You know, sorry if I'm pissing anybody off. <laughs> I'm feeling a little angry today. Uh, I just listened to part of Pink Floyd, The Wall. One of my favorite um, movies is Pink Floyd, The Wall. I really relate to the idea of wanting to rebel against fascism. Um, and I'm all for being safe and healthy, but I'm not for marching to the meat grinder of conformity. And I'm not for not questioning what they're telling us. I'm not for just blindly following what the experts say. Uh, I'm all for building my immune system with eating healthy food and fasting and exercising. I'm all for washing my hands with non-toxic soap. I'm not really on board with using toxic chemicals to sterilize everything, assuming that that's going to keep us safe. Um, that actually creates an additional health hazard, which is toxic chemicals that we inhale into our lungs that can harm our health and harm our dogs and cats and our houseplants. So in my house, I do not allow toxic chemicals. I don't use a lot of bleach and Clorox and antiseptic, uh, what do you call it? Um, antibacterial wipes. Uh, a lot of times I take my sponges, I wet them, put them in the microwave for two minutes, and they say that kills a lot of stuff. I also use non-toxic, unscented, hypoallergenic soap. I also eat sauerkraut and kimchi, so I'm trying to eat in a way that I think is healthy. I don't eat a lot of carbs and sugar, which weakens and suppresses and inflames your body and suppresses your immune system. Also, a lot of stress and worry and fear and anger suppresses your immune system. So be careful with that. Exercise is really good for you. I hope that you just heard Wind Song Spiral Drive by Goddess Kring. That's my music. I rarely ever get any comments on my music. I feel kind of unappreciated and ignored. Um, but somebody told me that I need to appreciate myself more and I need to ignore people who tell me I'm a narcissist. If I am a narcissist, okay. I don't think I can stop myself from being who I am. So if I'm a narcissist because I take 5,000 pictures of myself 
to prove that I exist or to try to create beauty in the world. Like I'm a model. I model for other people and I model for myself. Uh, and I create art. And some people don't like what I do and that bothers me. I feel very defensive and I feel like I have to prove that I'm a nice person. Maybe that is narcissism. Uh, maybe I just need to make peace with the fact that I might be a little bit narcissistic. I'm not the same kind of narcissist as the president of the United States because he never apologizes. He never says he makes, he never admits he ever makes a mistake. He blames other people for everything, blah, blah, blah. We all know that story. Um, and some people admire that about him. And that's why I don't like him because he never apologizes. I apologize constantly. People tell me that I apologize too much. Um, so maybe I do. And so if I die from this virus, if I die from this virus, at least I will have made my art until the day that I die. I don't think I'm going to die from this, but maybe I'm naive and I'm wrong and I'm going to die from this. So that's okay. So my name is Shannon Nicole Kringen. I was born in San Diego, California in 1968. I am blessed with really kick-ass legs. I got hot legs. Uh, I wish that I didn't have so much fat on my belly, but I have really good legs. I don't have to work very hard for these legs. I was born with these kinds of legs. A lot of people are jealous of me because I have these kinds of legs and I hate jealous energy. I hate competitive energy. I hate when people when people encourage me to think that I have to copyright everything I do and protect everything I do from other artists stealing my ideas. It's true that I am the original goddess Kring. I'm the one who made that up. I'm the one who, you know, I have my own unique style. Don't all of us? I mean, all talented people have their own unique style. Maybe some people are more talented than others. I know that I am particularly talented. Uh, hi, kitty. Hi, Kisun. There's my kitty Kisun. I love him so much. So I am a multimedia artist and a photographer and I do abstract designs. I have a bunch of artwork that I was going to share on camera, but I guess right now I just wanted to make a short video. I'm trying not to make videos that are too long. Hi, my kitty Kisun is right here with me. I love you. He's a good boy. He's my favorite. He's my favorite cat on the planet. So I was born with good legs. I also eat healthy and exercise, which a lot of Americans don't do, and that's none of my business. I'm sorry I sound so judgmental. I personally wish people would exercise for their mental health and their physical health, but that's none of my business. I was raised by an athlete dad. My dad is like a professional. Um, his athletic fitness at the age of 75 is as good as a professional athlete quite literally he works out constantly so my dad is very fit and healthy and so he raised me with that idea that that's normal that it's normal to be athletic fit and healthy where am I in the frame that it's normal to be extremely athletic and fit and healthy I am a little bit overweight by society standards uh, my weight tends to go up and down I had breast reduction surgery which means I have scars I guess I'm doing my Goddess Crane thing again, aren't I? Oh well. I thought I outgrew this, but maybe not. <laughs> I'm trying not to put myself down. I made this hat. This is a wool felted hat that I made in a wool felting class that I took. And sorry, I'm a little angry today. I know that life is a gift and that all of us are going to die someday. And I'm alive. It is now April 17th, 2020. And I'm alive, and I hope you're alive, too. If you're watching me, that means you're alive. So thank you for being alive. I'm glad that you're alive. I hope you stay alive. I hope your immune system is okay. I hope you're financially going to be okay. I hope all of us are going to be financially okay. Um, okay, you don't think I'm overweight. Well, I know that I have a little extra fat on my body, and I know this is triggering. A lot of people, especially women, get mad at me. Women don't like me. Women mostly don't like me. I am afraid of women. I feel very competitive with other women. I've never really been close friends with very many women, and that's a sad fact. A lot of men are my fans because I'm very sexual. I'm a Scorpio, and I'm very sexual, and I like to be naked, and I'm comfortable being naked. And a lot of women think I objectify myself, and they think that um, 
I don't know what other women think, but I know that they think that I'm not a real feminist because I objectify myself and I use my sexuality to make money. And that's true. Listen to what Laurie Anderson says about that, the performance artist Laurie Anderson, about how women make less money than men. And it makes sense that women would gravitate towards doing whatever makes them the most money, which let's face it, the naked human female body makes women more money than most other things that women do. And that's a sad fact. Maybe pop music is an exception. Although Madonna is a very successful pop musician, but let's face it, Madonna is extremely sexual, but I don't think she feels like a victim. I feel like Madonna's sexuality is pretty strong and natural for her. And so she just expresses her sexuality without apologizing for it. Tori Amos does the same thing. Tori Amos is a highly sexual woman. There's nothing wrong with being highly sexual. It drives me nuts that Gloria Steinem says things about women exploiting themselves sexually. And then she is objectifying women by even saying that because if a woman feels like a victim and like they're being exploited, then they shouldn't do whatever they're doing. But if a woman feels sexual, she shouldn't be shamed for being sexual, having a vagina, having um, vaginal secretions is very sexual. Men have their, va their penis secretions. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be saying, am I allowed to say this on Facebook? Am I allowed to talk about penis and vagina? Hey, Google. Hey, surveillance capitalism. Am I allowed to say this? I know there are certain words I'm not allowed to say about the current medical thing that we're in. I'm not going to say those words. Um, I believe in questioning everything. How long have I been talking? 16 minutes. Okay, I should probably cut this short. I make videos that are too long. I should probably just do several short videos. So you can join my Patreon if you want to see me naked. You can join my Patreon for $10 a month. Um, you can also join for $1, 2 and $5 a month if you want to see my other art. I share, if you pay $10 a month or more, you get to see everything. I share photography of animals. You know, I share beautiful, like, family-friendly PG stuff. And I have, for people who are into my nudity. See, I don't want to offend anybody that's not into my fine art nudes. Uh, but I do have fine art nudes on my Patreon, and you can join if you want to see that. It's patreon.com slash goddesskring, and that's my little plug for that. But here I am, and when I say I'm a little bit overweight, I'm not trying to put myself down. I'm just saying I've, I've gained a little bit right here. This is where I tend to gain a little extra weight. Who cares, right? It doesn't matter. A lot of people have eating disorders. Um, they have anorexia, they have bulimia, they have the compulsive overeating. It's really sad. It's awful. I'm not talking about that. I'm sorry if I'm triggering anybody. I feel like I'm not allowed to talk about fitness and health because then people will say, you're not overweight. Or they'll say, blah, blah, blah. You know, I have an eating disorder. You're triggering me. Don't mention that. So I'm sorry if you are triggered by what I'm saying, please don't watch me. So I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody. Um, I want to be healthy and strong. I want my bones and my muscles to be healthy and strong so that I can live till I'm 100. So I would like to live until 2068 if possible. I hope I don't die from this current situation that we're in. And I don't eat sugar and carbs hardly at all because I want to keep my immune system strong. And so my Patreon is patreon.com slash goddesscring and you can join and see fine art nudes of me. Here's my foot. You want to see my foot? There's my foot. Check it out. <laughs> so, um, hi, Keystone. I need to feed my kitty. So, I have a lot of artwork that I can share. Maybe I'll do that later. I need to do some more exercise. Um, <laughs> so, you can listen to my music for free. A lot of my art I give away for free. And my friend earlier today said I shouldn't give my stuff away for free and then I should start charging for everything. And I don't want to do that, I don't want to alienate people. Um, by charging for everything I do. I don't want everything I do to be about capitalism and money. I'm more of a democratic socialist, um, meaning I think that we should have some things in life should be free and we should all have food and clothing and housing and we should have health care that's nonprofit public service. Um, a lot of the Bernie Sanders ideas I agree with and they make sense to me. I owe $80,000 for my bachelor's degree. I owe $80,000, and so I'm low income, so I don't have to pay that right now, thank God, because I can't really afford to right now. Um, when I die, my student loans die with me, and I'm glad. Um, my plan, oh God, the cursor. My plan is to retire, maybe in another country, um, 
uh, my Social Security, if I'm still alive in 20 years, I'll probably retire in a country like Mexico or Thailand or or Costa Rica or Ecuador or Guatemala. I don't know where I'm going to go when I'm when I'm 70 something and I finally get to retire. I will go to another country where I can live on my Social Security, my American Social Security, if we still have Social Security in 20 years. Okay, take a deep breath, Shannon. Okay, Shannon Kringen, you need to relax. I'm really angry and I'm really stressed out and I feel very defensive. I like maybe I'm a narcissist, um, but I don't want to put myself down. Maybe all artists are extremely self-absorbed. Maybe performers and musicians and actors and artists, maybe they are all self-absorbed. And maybe that's a good thing. If I can channel my self-absorption into creating artwork and sharing it with people who are entertained or enjoy it, or men who like to look at my naked body and feel sexually aroused, maybe that's okay. Am I exploiting myself? Is my sexuality uh, a threat to other people? Do women not like me because I'm sexual? I don't know. I don't fit into the feminist. Like I am a feminist. I believe in equal rights for women. I believe men, women should be paid equal to men for the equal work that they do if they're doing equal work. So I'm a feminist in terms of men and women being equal, but I'm not a feminazi in terms of, I'm not into women who want revenge on men. I'm not into going too far with the whole feminist idea to the point where you want revenge and you want to humiliate men and take men down because that's just more of the same. That's just duality. That's us versus them. That's just more of the same. If women who say they're feminists act like female chauvinist pigs that are mean and abusive, that's not real feminism. And I've had some women attack me um, because they say I'm not a real feminist because I'm not on board with their agenda. And so I'm like, okay, wait a minute. That's, that's hypocrisy right there. If a woman attacks another woman for questioning what real feminism really is, then I feel really like my stomach hurts when I think about it. I feel rejected by other women, but I have to own my own anger. I'm a Scorpio. I'm very sexual. I'm very defensive. And I feel kind of like a guy, like I'm a woman with female body parts, but I feel like I'm in touch with my masculine side. And I feel like I'm sort of a tomboy, I'm androgynous, whatever it is. I feel a little bit like I'm in touch with my male side and my female side. So I'm a little bit androgynous, but a lot of women don't seem to like me, but maybe I don't like other women. I don't know, what is it? I don't trust other women. I feel afraid of other women. And I know it's partly because my mom and my grandma had a very sad relationship that wasn't very nurturing or loving. So I guess I'm having a female thing come up today. So this is Shannon Crank and Goddess Crank. I'm here in Seattle sharing with you guys and I lost my train of thought, but I don't know what the point of this video is. <laughs> my point is to plug myself as an artist. ShannonKringen.com is my website. You can join my Patreon. I give my stuff away for free. Uh, a lot of it is free and some of it I charge for and I'm trying to make a living as an artist online and I've been hired by some people to model and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so I'm looking for ways. I only need to make about a thousand to fourteen hundred dollars a month. I'm going to apply for the new benefits, the new federal benefits in the United States and I'm looking both ways because that's YouTube and that's Facebook. If this video doesn't get censored we'll find out. Uh, I should go. It's been 23 minutes but um, Bathing suit naked in front of people. Okay, well, thank you so much, um, Stacy, for saying that. And I'm sorry if it makes you uncomfortable. And I, I feel like I need to apologize to other women. So I'm so sorry. I feel like it would be nice if, if us women could support each other in accepting our bodies as they are. I don't have a perfect body. I have a stretch marks and, um, okay, whatever. I have extra fat right here. And I have scars on my breasts because I had breast reduction. I had 38 triple D breasts which now I kind of miss because my boobs are shriveling up with age. I'm 51 years old, so I'm in a bathing suit, and I wish that, it's true, I wish all women could just be in a bathing suit and feel fine with it, feel comfortable with it. I don't have control over what other women feel and don't feel, and if a woman doesn't want to be in a bathing suit, I don't want to tell her not to, but it would be nice if men and women both, that's another reason why I love going to clothing optional naturist gatherings, uh, because, um, 
it's not a beauty contest. The whole point of going to a naturist, okay, I can get myself in the camera. The whole point of going to a clothing optional naturist place is to accept your body, is to love your body as it is. I know that I have good legs in terms of our mainstream culture, although some people would say my legs are too fat or whatever. I like my muscles. I think I have good, strong muscles in my legs. Um, but that's not about this. This is about accepting your body as it is. I am actually a little dorky. Like I have, um, what do I have? I have big shoulders, like a man. The size of my shoulders are like a man's. My rib cage is big. My waist is thick and my hips are narrow. So I look, I'm built a little bit like a guy. I don't really care. That's fine with me. I'm just pointing out that, you know, classic women have a smaller upper body than me and big hips and a big round butt. I don't have a big round butt. I don't really have much of a butt at all. I wish I had like a, a rounder butt sometimes. Who really cares? I don't care. I'm just pointing out that I don't have that kind of butt. And I wish that women would just, and men too, because some men have body issues too. It's not just women. Some men are uncomfortable and they think their body should be more perfect or whatever. They think their penis needs to be bigger. They think their chest needs to be big and big and manly or whatever men think. I don't know. Men and women both have body issues. So this is my body. It's not perfect. I'm a nude model, but I'm not at all perfect. I've got stretch marks. I get zits. Um, I don't shave my pubic hair. Um, I've got like a varicose vein down here. You know, whatever. I'm not perfect. I have this cute mole on my knee, which I kind of like, actually. <laughs> and so this is the way I look. And, you know, figure models are not perfect. Like, we're not perfect. Um, I think some people think to be a nude model, you have to be so confident and you have to feel so perfect and wonderful. And it's like, no, none of us figure models are perfect at all. All of us have our... Um, different body types, different skin color, different ethnicities, different ages. Forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep what going? I'm not sure what you mean. But I feel a little bit angry today, and yet I'm really grateful that I'm alive. And I'm not into marching to the meat grinder of conformity. Like, I'm into following rules and being an obedient person, but I'm also into questioning what they're telling us, and I'm also into emphasizing eating healthy. It's important to eat healthy because metabolic health, this is the thing. It's not just about your immune system in terms of the sickness going around. It's not just about your immune system. It's also about your metabolic health. Your metabolic health, some people have metabolic syndrome and they don't even know it. They have leptin, lack of leptin sensitivity. Leptin is the hunger hormone. That's very important. If you fast, you might improve your metabolic health. If you exercise and sleep enough and get enough fluid, get enough good water in your body with electrolytes and salt is neat as needed um, and lemon juice. I have unsweetened electrolyte powder, lemon juice, uh, and mineral water that I drank from an artesian well near Seattle. So I drink really healthy water. In fact, I should have some right now. This is my artesian well water near Seattle. Um, and it's important to drink healthy water uh, without chlorine and fluoride in it. Uh, to think that we need to kill and sterilize everything isn't really healthy. It's not natural. I'm washing my hands with non-toxic hypoallergenic soap. I eat sauerkraut and kimchi, and I fast 16 hours a day, and I just drink water 16 hours a day, and then eight hours a day I eat. And I eat as much as I want. I mostly eat meat and vegetables and fruit and nuts and sauerkraut and seaweed and things like that. I also have beans and rice that I can eat if I need to, but I don't eat rice because it's too high in carbs. And I, I don't eat beans that much because they're kind of high in carbs too, but I'm low carb. Um, but you should do whatever you want. But I feel like for me, metabolic health is important. It's not just your immune, your immune system also reacts to your mental health. And so if you have a lot of fear and worry and anger, you're going to weaken your immune system. I need to be careful with that because I am, I've been very angry lately and that is not good for my immune system. My metabolic health, I think is fairly healthy. Um, so meta, nobody's talking about that in the mainstream media. They don't talk about metabolic health. A lot of people eat a lot of sugar and carbs uh, and they eat constantly throughout the day, which makes your insulin sensitive. You can be, you can have normal blood sugar and not be diabetic. 
and yet your insulin levels might be too high, but it doesn't show up on the blood test. Educate yourself about this. If you listen to nutritionists online, especially the low carb people, they'll tell you that your blood sugar can be normal, and yet you might have too much insulin in your body, and your body's trying to compensate. Eventually, you are pre-diabetic, and you are going to become diabetic eventually. If you don't lower the carbs, and you start fasting, you exercise every day, go for a 20-minute walk. If you're too afraid to go outside right now, just dance around to music for 20 minutes, you know, just dance or do jumping jacks, you know, whatever it takes to get your cardio. Jump, jumping jacks. Okay. <laughs> just jump around for like 20 minutes. You know, if you just jump around for 20 minutes or just lift some like small weights in your house for 20 or 30 minutes a day, um, before or after you eat. Sometimes I exercise in a fasted state. Um, so yeah, I would like to burn off some of the fat that's right here, but I don't really, I don't really feel like I'm really overweight, but I wanna just stay healthy. And so this isn't about being fat or thin. This is about being metabolically healthy. This is about my liver and my kidneys and my pancreas and my heart and my lungs, everything. Not just the way I look. People, I think, worry too much about what they look like. It should be more about your actual health. Like, okay, I'm a model, so of course I wanna to try to look good. Um, so people want to hire me to paint me and draw me. Um, but I'm smart enough to know that what really matters is your actual health on the inside of your body. There are people who look thin, but they're fat on the, they have all kinds of extra fat inside their body. And there are people who look fat, but they're actually pretty metabolically healthy. So you can't really tell from looking at somebody how healthy they really are. Um, so in terms of keeping yourself safe from the sickness going around, it's important to have your immune system work its best, as well as your mental health, as well as your metabolic health. And your metabolic health directly connects to your immune system's ability to keep you safe. So you need to be careful with what you eat and careful with getting enough sleep. You need to get a lot of sleep. You need, I need to practice better self-care with my mental health. I'm letting too many thoughts in my head, like I'm letting my anger take over. And I maybe I need to go running or something because I, I have a lot of anger and fear. Anger really is fear probably. And so maybe I need to go running or something to get my anger out and like listen to Mick Jagger. Like I'm a woman, but I really identify with Mick Jagger. When I, when I watch Mick Jagger dance, there's a song called One Hit to the Body. I love that Rolling Stone song from the 90s or what years? Is that from the late 80s or early 90s? I don't remember, but One Hit to the Body. Actually, I think it's 1987. I don't remember, but... Um, I think it's the late 80s. One hit to the body. I love that song. And when I listen to Mick sing it, even though I'm a woman, I feel like I identify with Mick Jagger, with being Mick Jagger. I don't feel like, yeah, he's sexy. I'm very much sexually attracted to Mick Jagger. He's a very sexy guy. He's fun. I love his sense of humor. But when I see Mick Jagger, I identify with him as if I'm him. I really, and I don't think a lot of women feel that way, but I do. I, when I, ever since I was a little kid, I first saw Mick Jagger, I felt like I was kind of Mick Jagger. Like I felt like I could absorb that energy and embody the whole Mick Jagger kind of sexy, fun, uh, rebellious kind of Mick Jagger thing that, he, you know, he's kind of, he does these weird like facial expressions and and he's goofy. He's kind of goofy. I don't know if very many women feel that way about Mick Jagger. I, I've heard some feminists say they're offended by Mick Jagger. I like Mick Jagger. So I identify with him. I have a, an inner female Mick Jagger, I think. Um, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that, but okay. So I think it's important to be metabolically healthy as well as your immune system and your metabolic health and your immune system are all connected. So it's been 33 minutes. I better go because this video is getting too long. <laughs> I tend to do like hour long videos. I'll do more videos later. So this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. Uh, I'm on, <laughs> see, there's my smartphone. I'm showing my smartphone on my YouTube video that I'm making. And then here is my, my webcam. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Like, there's my webcam. I have a Logitech webcam. Hey, Google, you're spying on all of us. Hey, Google, 
I'm a sexual woman. Is that okay to say I'm a sexual woman on, <laughs> thank God I have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend that I'm going to see later today. So I'm not saying that to ask men for attention. I'm just saying, <laughs> just acknowledging I'm a sexual woman. But, um, but I don't want to be exploited for my sexuality. But at the same time, my sexuality is natural. So uh, sometimes Gloria Steinem really bothers me when she talks about women being objectified. And it's like, wait a minute, Gloria, you're being a hypocrite because you are shaming women for being sexual. If a woman feels naturally sexually powerful, she shouldn't feel like she should be ashamed of that, you know, but if she, if a woman feels objectified by men, then she shouldn't be doing whatever she's doing. Um, but it, well, or she, or she should say, Hey, don't objectify me, man. Um, but if a woman feels uh, enjoying her sexuality and is getting paid well for whatever she does, then that's fine. So I don't, okay. <laughs> I'm just showing you that weird. Okay. I need to go. I'm going to be back later. So if you like what I do, join my Patreon, or you can always donate to me. You can always private message me. Why don't you just, yes, anger is legit. Anger is legit. And anger really is fear. So the fact that I have a lot of anger means I have a lot of fear, I think. I'm willing to admit that. I'm pretty insecure, actually. I have confidence, and yet I'm very insecure at the same time, which might be the kind of narcissist that I am. I think I'm a little bit of a narcissist, meaning I'm kind of wrapped up in myself because it's a defense mechanism, and I'm just trying to keep myself safe and alive. Um, yes, skinny people can be diabetic, and overweight people can actually have good insulin, healthy insulin levels. So just because somebody is thin or overweight doesn't mean that they're healthy or unhealthy. You can't really tell. Um, although eating healthy and exercising pretty much always makes people healthier. So if somebody doesn't exercise, they're probably not as healthy as somebody who does. If somebody is chubby but exercises, because that would be me. I'm a little bit chubby, and yet I exercise every day. So, But if I exercise even more, I'd probably be more healthy, but I don't want to over-exercise because uh, that can stress the body out. So that can actually stress your immune system out if you over-exercise. I'll be back later. My name is Shannon Kringen. ShannonKringen.com is my website. Um, thanks for being here for my YouTube subscribers, and thank you for being here, my Facebook friends. I hope you're all okay. I need to take a deep breath and calm down. <laughs> I'm going to get more artesian well water soon um, from the place near Seattle. And you can go to my website or you private message me if you want to know about how to hire me as a model on Zoom. If you want to hire me, on Zoom as a model in a bodysuit um, or if or ba a bathing suit or whatever. And if you want to hire me or if you want <laughs> if you want to join my Patreon to see my artwork and support me as an artist and a model, you can go to patreon.com slash goddess kring or you can just private message me. You can just send me a message or email me. Just go to my website and look for my email. Um, and good luck to you. And if you don't want to spend any money, that's totally fine too. I want you to be okay financially. I want you to be safe and healthy and do whatever you need to do. Um, I'm just here to promote myself as an artist and a model, but I'm also here to encourage people to, like I'm doing this for myself, but also for you. Like I'm trying to, anybody who appreciates what I do, this is for you. And anybody who doesn't like what I do, please go away because don't torture yourself. Um, so I'm just trying to do my thing and it's really hard for me to not apologize for myself. I'm constantly saying I'm sorry for being the way that I am. That's partly how I was raised. My parents are both critical. Uh, they're both really smart, but they're both very, and they're sensitive people and they're creative, but they're kind of critical in a certain way. And I feel kind of like tame the shame. Maybe that should be my mantra, tame the shame, because I feel ashamed that I was even born. And I feel ashamed that I even take up space. And yet I want to do my art and share it. Uh, I'm afraid of my own personal power. I don't want to be an egomaniac. I'm afraid of being a narcissist slash egomaniac. And some people think that I am already a, a narcissist slash egomaniac. People have called me an attention whore um, years ago. 20 years ago, people called me an attention whore, and that still bothers me to this day. Um, but I was ahead of my time because I was online promoting myself 20 years ago when nobody had Instagram and nobody was doing 20 million selfies. And I used to do selfies before anybody else even did selfies. And now it's like normal or something. So I guess people don't call me an attention whore anymore. Um, yeah, don't listen to them. I agree. Uh, I need to just go ahead and focus on people that appreciate what I do. And also sometimes I get a real lack of appreciation. I feel like people don't appreciate me. And then I think, well, maybe it's because I don't appreciate myself because they say that the audience mirrors back to you, you know, 
um, when you when you interact with an audience, it kind of amplifies whatever's going on with you. So whatever is good and bad about me is amplified in the audience, I think. Um, so go ahead and listen to my video on playback because I need to go. I've been talking for 39 minutes. Oh my God, this is too long. Okay, bye for now. This is Shani Kringen, Goddess Kring in Seattle. Good luck to everyone. Um, be yourself. What makes you happy? I agree with that. Thank you so much. I need to just be myself. Be yourself, no matter what they say. That's a Sting song I love called Englishman in New York. Go listen to that. Englishman in New York by Sting. Um, that song inspires me. Um, I designed my tattoo inspired by that song. Be yourself, no matter what they say. Um, take care. Yes. Here's my tattoo. Can you even see it? Be yourself, no matter what they say. I designed this tattoo and it's be yourself no matter what they say. It's a, it's to remind me of to be myself no matter what they say because a lot of people I think don't like what I do and they don't understand me. I feel misinterpreted. I feel misunderstood and unappreciated. I feel left out and excluded. A lot of my childhood I felt left out and excluded. People picked on me and made fun of me and I didn't know how to make friends um, and I'm still trying to figure that stuff out. How, where do I fit in the world? That's why I, I got into modeling because I felt like a uh, useful to the community. I felt like, oh, I finally belong. They hired me to model for them. Um, I finally am appreciated and part of the community because I don't really feel like I'm part of, you know, I'm kind of a loner and I like to be mostly by myself um, for many reasons. I'm an introvert, but um, I'm an introvert who likes to share on camera. So that's kind of a weird oxymoron, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, Maybe that's not really who I am. I don't know, but I've been, oh, 41 minutes. I got to go. Okay, I'll be back later. Thanks for being here, everyone. I'm going to wave at all of you. I'm going to close this video. Bye for now. This is a, on YouTube. I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTube people. Uh, feel free to support me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's it's YouTube. It's Shannon Kringen on YouTube. I have 840-something 800 subscribers last time I checked. Uh, I make YouTube videos every once in a while, and it's all about my multimedia art, my philosophy, my music, and my modeling, and my photography, and my painting. Um, so subscribe and hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks for being here. You can support me on Patreon or go to my website, shannycrigan.com, and just check out my multimedia art and my blogs. Uh, thank you. Goodbye to YouTube. I'm closing out the, I'm still on Facebook, but I'm closing out on the YouTube. Bye for now on YouTube.